hi everyone thank you once again for joining my channel and in today's video I'll be showing how I achieved this realistic full crochet braids and the channel is braids by Kemalis please subscribe <laughs> so to start with I'll need to comb out my hair obviously and before doing this I had blow dried the hair to make it easier to part so for me to get that realistic look I need to section the hair and the method of sectioning I'm using is to go from the back of one hair to the back of the other hair so from the middle you get a middle part then you move from back from from the middle to the back of your hair from left to right and this front section is what we are going to be using to get the realistic full look for our crochet braids so what i want to do is to part my hair in front i would like to have about 10 rows to work with to have this full look so um for you to get clean parts i would advise using your favorite gel to um, apply to your parts for me i like using the shine and jam gel and so when i apply that it helps me to you know get a cleaner part so for the first row, I would like to divide it into two so that I'll be able to work in two crochet to those um, strands. So what I'll do now, I'll go in with my rubber band and um, use it to hold the base firmly. And after doing that, I'll twist my hair. You could either do the twist or the braid, whatever works for you, but I find the twist easier to manage, plus I'm faster with the twist. So once I have done this, I will try to link the first braid to the remaining hair for me to get another twist. So with that, I'll be able to easily secure in my crochet. So um, once I've done that, like um, what I would then do is to work the rest. I want 10 rows in front, like I said earlier. All I have to do is just repeat the same process. So what I'm trying to do is that um, I'm trying to alternate my horizontal parts in such a way that the, the one I'm doing right now is not aligning with the previous one. It's kind of in the middle. <laughs> so what this will do is to help me get that full look. And um, when I pack my hair, they are just going to block each other out as if you actually braided your hair one by one so that's um, another technique i'll try to point out is that i'm blocking out the horizontal parts when i'm making the horizontal part and at the back what i want to do is to have individual twist and i will attach the crochet to that later on which i'll also show you how i did it what this will help me achieve is when I get to pack my hair in a bun, it's going to look so, so realistic. You're not going to believe it's crochet braid, except to come really close or you, or I tell you it's crochet. So, 
I'll do the individual braids for the back and also for the left side and the right side. So basically all round the crochet is going to look so so realistic. So for the middle, I'm going to do individual corn rows and I'll try to connect the strands from the front to the corn row to get a seamless, you know, connection. And um, um, so what I'll do, like I said, is to connect the strands in front. So once again, once you want, um, patch your corn row, you start the corn row, then you bring in the strand in front you continue your corn roll then when you get to the back what you're gonna do because for each row you do you have a strand of braids you connect the strand of braid at the back just as I'm doing right now and that way everything is connected and flat this will really help to you know give you this full looking crochet and it will help block out the spaces so for the last corn row I'll use my crochet pin to um, kind of hide it in between the hair just as, I, as I'm doing um, right now just use it to hide it and I think I left this little strand of hair so that I'll be able to um, corn row it also and yes this is the beautiful crochet air we'll be using i think it's a um expression product i'm not so sure a friend gifted to me and um she already removed it from the package by the time she would give it to me but i really love the hair and i think it will be beautiful for me to use in this tutorial video so what i'm doing here is connecting the crochet to the base and then working my way through the crochet air so that i can um you know hide my individual strands i'll try to explain again uh, in a more detailed way so i'll put my crochet pin at the base of my individual twist loop in the crochet hair and pull it out then i'll put the other end of the hair loop it through the loop pull it out now i've secured the base then i will go into the crochet hair using my pin just like that and um, loop in my individual braids this will help me hide the braid in the crochet hair and that way you have your individual looking crochet now look at that isn't that beautiful <laughs> so for the rubber band part you go underneath the rubber band loop in your crochet just like this that is all so simple you go underneath the rubber band not in between underneath and then you have your individual looking crochet and they look so beautiful flat and you know real realistic So that is the process and is really really simple and easy to achieve. Once you get the basis right, you have nothing to worry about. So for the back, all I have to do is just repeat the same thing. Um, loop in your crochet on all the corn rows as much as possible, blocking out any space. You can see just from looking at it right now that everywhere is fully blocked 
for this year i only used two packs of the hair which is about um i think each pack has 60 strands so that's about 120 strands and i did not finish it and here is the finished look looking so beautiful gorgeous i'm really happy with the outcome it took me about three hours and it is the best i've done so far and so i'll just ask you to please subscribe to my channel as the next video is going to be much more beautiful now tell me isn't this lovely oh no <laughs> yeah i'm just so excited so thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel so that you get notified when i have new videos thank you